Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. This video is going to show you exactly how to run YouTube live broadcasts to grow your audience and also how to run the broadcasts for your membership delivery or your paid product delivery because you might have a group coaching program and you're looking for a way to bring everyone together and kind of do that sort of group coaching and you're wondering if YouTube live can handle the tech or you're just wanting to do lives on your channel for your audience and you want to learn how to run the tech, which is what we'll show here. So the big difference between these two is you don't want your membership or paid items to go out to the rest of your subscribers. So when I do a live for my content and conversion.com membership program, where I'm reviewing the different funnels of my members that is protected from my 70,000 plus subscribers here on YouTube. But when I do a main big live for the whole audience, Audience, that will get me extra reach. So one of the benefits you're going to get on the kind of audience growth side with live is that YouTube does prioritize live videos and they'll suggest your videos to more people in that moment. So it can be a good way to grow your audience to use the live functionality. And then on the membership side, I really like that I can use YouTube's kind of tech. I can use their streaming capabilities. I mean, they're the best in the world at this game and there's no fees, right? I don't have to go buy a zoom account. I don't have to go kind of be reliant on Facebook and just one quick note on there because a lot of people wonder, um, can I just run a live for my membership group inside of my Facebook group I have for my members? Obviously, that is a possibility. That is something that you can do. I believe that YouTube has a much better chat functionality that you'll see here in this video. And also, pay, be aware, like, are all of your members actually on Facebook? My wife runs a membership program uh, that she's run it for several years, and she was doing lives in the Facebook group, but we only have about 70% of our members on the Facebook group. So when we use now, we use YouTube Live for her deliverables as well anyone is able to watch it. You click a link inside of an email and it'll load right there because everyone can load a YouTube stream page. Not everyone can load inside of a private closed or secret group in Facebook. Um, so just, just a little kind of awareness there of is your entire group on Facebook or not. Cool, let's jump on the computer and do some work together. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up. When I went looking for this information, it was difficult to find. It seemed way more difficult than it, it was and I learned it and was like, oh, this is ridiculously easy. So I'm hopefully going to help you see how ridiculously easy this is. So I'm here on my own channel page and I click creator studio. This is going to bring me on into the inside of kind of the, the back end of YouTube and give it one quick second to load here. And of course, they're about to change the game on the YouTube studio and make it look different in 2019, but this will get you going. Um, until they do make those changes. So here on the left, you click on the live streaming. It's gonna bring down a drop down. I always use the events. I use their native tools here. I don't add on any third party tools whatsoever. So once I load live streaming, I click on events to load the event page. And what we have here is kind of a blank screen that says you don't have any new upcoming events. So what I do is I click schedule a new event you also have that new live event button up there if you saw that. And here is where I really create all of my live broadcasts. So obviously you want to enter a title here and the, there's a big difference, right? If you are going for audience growth and you're going to run this through your entire kind of YouTube channel, you want a keyword friendly title keyword friendly title, keyword friendly description, and you really wanna make sure it's compelling to get the click because you're gonna get a little bit more displays when you're live. They're gonna display your thumbnail, they're gonna display your um, your title and your description a little bit more often when you're live. It's kind of the, the boost you get from the live. So make sure your title has the right keywords so they can use the relevance of the search engine algorithm. And also it's really clickable, really uh, human friendly, but honestly, you probably should be doing that on every video. So that's not really a tweak. Then this drop down on the left is really the key between do I want this to go out to everyone or do I want this to go out to just my inner circle, just my private coaching. So when I'm sending it out to my private members for content and conversion, I'm using the unlisted link. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a URL and we'll actually go create that URL so you can see how, but I'm able to embed this unlisted video inside of my forums. So I have a distraction free way for my users to watch this without all the recommended videos on the side, etc. But first, let's go through the public process real quick. So if you wanted to, um, I'm just going to use one of these default things that loads up that was actually from an opt in I used to give away, I would then 
copy this down here, and I would put the description. Now, you have the ability to run it immediately. This means I'm just gonna turn it on, I'm gonna go live, and I'm gonna run. And this is for somebody who wants to broadcast their daily videos as if it were a live radio show. You do it in one take, there's no pre-recording, there's no rendering, you just launch it and you go. If you want to schedule it out, you have the ability to schedule it out to different times. It's on half hour increments. Um, it's You can edit what time zone you're in. Um, one thing I think is important to kind of keep in mind, if you do set your video to run on a future date under advanced settings, you have the ability, and let me find it here, I know it's somewhere, um, promote through cards when event is live, promote on my channel page when event is live. So you wanna take this drop down and you wanna set it at least a week prior to the scheduled time. So what this means is if you have a live stream for your big audience scheduled next week, you have some sort of event, it will actually put it on your channel page as long as you select this. If you don't select this, it won't start promoting your live video until the moment it goes live. And your live video has the ability for people to click the reminder button so YouTube will remind them if they have notifications on, on their app, on their device, on their computer, um, it will remind them when you are live so it can kind of get you a little bit of boost and it'll also get the search engines indexing your title and your description before you actually go live so i would set it here i would kind of basically this is it right everything is generally standard and then i would click create live event this would generate a url that's going to go out and it would be published live on my um, main channel. I don't want to do that right now because I don't want to confuse my people and I don't want to head fake them into thinking it. So you would literally click the create event. And when it's time for you to come in and broadcast, you're going to see exactly how to do that here in the next step. So the next step is we're pretending that now I'm actually making this for members. So you can see how we're going to go all the way through and I'm actually going to launch this live now. So you would take these same basic steps. You obviously just wouldn't have it listed. I'm also going to change the time to write now. So there's that now selector. It automatically changes it back to today. I think anytime you change the uh, time, it actually changes the date back to like today or the next day. And I'm ready to go. So this is going to be, I set it up default as quick. It's unlisted, which means I can share the URL. Anyone with the URL can watch it. It also means that your people can email someone else the URL and other people can watch it. I'm not concerned about that because I think that just gives me a little bit of extra um, credibility through a friend and a little extra uh, brand value if someone who's not a paid member sees my coaching. I also only send out this link maybe 30 minutes before we actually start. I prime everyone with what time and I just let them know I'm going to send them the actual URL 30 minutes before, which minimizes the amount of time uh, it's possible for that to get shared around a lot. So I'm I'm going to click go live now now just a heads up as we're going into this process deeper uh, i'm running a, a webcam right now uh, so it, there might be a little tiny conflict um, in the videos feeds but i think i'll be able to sort my way through that but just 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 a heads up if it doesn't look perfect that's why it doesn't look perfect so it says ready to go you're now entering google hangout on air so you can stream live from your webcam and that's perfect, that's what I wanna do. You need to be in Chrome when you're doing this. This doesn't work in, in Firefox. So I'm in the Chrome browser, and this loads my actual kind of, um, it's called Hangouts, right? It's the old conferencing tool that Google launched probably, I think maybe like 2012, 2013-ish. Um, so it's gonna load this, and I'm immediately gonna be off air, and I think what it's doing right now is struggling to find my webcam feed. You can see it's loading down here, it's starting to load, it says I'm off air, now I have my start broadcast button, and I've got this little gear wheel for my settings. And it's trying to use the um, camera I'm using with you on the recorded video, so I'm gonna switch that over and let's see if it pulls up my other one. And then you have your microphone choices, right? You can use one of your, any of your different microphones. Um, I'm on the, the Scarlett 2i2, but I'm gonna switch this to a different one just so um, it doesn't actually, let's do that one right there. And I'll set these to uh, real tech. So I usually am not running two at once. Obviously that's kind of the, the gag here. I'm recording myself, recording a broadcast. And again, I would see my headshot here if I wasn't recording and overriding the video, right? My computer is not all that smart uh, to be able to run both of them. So let me see one more time, I'm gonna try this real quick. Sorry for the delay on this, but this is the one of the challenges of trying to show you exactly what I'm doing. So 
I would have a very big headshot showing up right there in the middle. I'm gonna set it to the easy camera and you just wanna go into the settings, make sure you've got the correct webcam selected. So my position right now, I have a Logitech, which is a uh, standalone aftermarket webcam that's really high definition. And then I got the built-in one to my laptop. I obviously make sure it's displaying from the one I want. I make sure it's got the right microphone that I want. You see, I have like six or seven microphones plugged in. And generally you would see yourself right here. And that's really the only thing you need to do. You would then click the start broadcast button. But first, before we get there, I wanna show you what's happened inside of the live events tab. So now under live streaming live events, we have a URL and this, we're gonna click on this to open it in a new tab. And it's gonna say that we're waiting for whoever you are, right? They're waiting for me to click record at this point. So you can see down here, it says waiting for Miles Beckler. And then below it, it's gonna show me one more time that it's an unlisted video once it pulls the title. Um, my computer's running a little slow because I got so much diff different stuff going on. So you can see here, I've got the unlisted. So this is just my little friendly reminder on the page as I'm grabbing the URL that this one is unlisted, which means it's a private video. Only people with the URL are able to watch this video here. And what I would do or what I do is I grab this URL and I embed it inside of my forums. My forums are password protected. And then I email all of my members to go to the forums in order to get access to this video that way they have to log in so if anybody stopped paying they can't actually get access to the video if they happen to be on that email list as well and it just adds that extra level of difficulty for someone to share this out then so it shows me as waiting um generally speaking i leave this open because this will start to auto play and when i hear myself talking there's about a 10 second delay i know that my audio video feed is good so i do my normal introduction on my video when i'm broadcasting live and i'm listening for that feedback loop and when i hear myself talking i come back to this page and i click the pause button you have the ability to break out this chat so this is the chat window and it's actually a really good chat I generally pop out the chat and what it does is it removes it from this screen and then I scrunch it to the side here and I take my Google Hangouts, which again, it's just got my picture because it's not loading my feed because there's um, there's a little too much going on on my computer right now because I'm, I'm getting a wee bit meta on this. But this is how I actually run my broadcasts live. I have my chat window over here so the chat is live and I'm able to see what's going on in the chat. And then I've just keep a little bit of an eye on my stream right here. I'm looking mostly for like the, the headroom and to make sure I'm still on the shot and I'm still in the right place. If you want to do screen shares from this window, you click on this button and this will get you into the mode where you're actually able to share your screen. And that's how I do my actual review screen shares. And let's actually, uh, let's launch this. Let's take this live. So I'm gonna click broadcast. And it's just going to give me this warning that says, hey, you're going, you can broadcast for up to eight hours. Your recordings are only good for two hours. Um, I've, I've gone over two hours a few times and, and the recording gets glitchy and the audio and the video got unsynced the two times I went over two hours. So I put myself on a hard stop of two hours only for my videos. Audio that way when I'm done, YouTube will process the video and I can go download it and I don't have to do any editing to it because that's just a nightmare to line up those two tracks. So at this point, I can hear myself and you probably can't hear me jabber John. You can see there's about a 10 second delay. So that's what I mean. I can hear myself, which means my stream is going live. I come over here and I pause this stream. Generally, you would see me again. This is just kind of one of, I wish, I wish that would work right. Cause that's, you know, a little bit erroneous. Cause you would see my headshot here. So now I've got it paused on the video window. So I'm not sucking up my own bandwidth, right? I'm not playing what I'm recording. I'm not uploading, downloading at the same time. And this is where I just do my thing. And I just keep going. You have the chat here available. If you wanna switch over to a screen share, you simply click that button, you click share, and it brings you into screen share mode. And then if we go over here, it'll take about 10 seconds because there's a delay. And I'm actually sharing this screen at that point. Um, oh, I would need to click play for that. Yeah, and then gone. let's go to the live. You click live, it'll take um, you right to the front. And you can see now it's actually sharing my screen on the video. And then I can go back 
And when I want to present to everyone, I just click present to everyone and stop. And it brings me back to my headshot, which again would generally be my video. And that's it. When you're done, this red uh, stop broadcast button is down below. I can make it a different size. So you can just see it's telling me that I'm live. It's telling me up here that I'm live. I can stop the broadcast down here. Once I do stop the broadcast, it gives me this kind of blue notice. The chat is still live for a little bit. And now, your video is actually still live at this URL. So if you do your coaching session and you leave it here on YouTube, this URL can get shared and shared and shared and everyone who gets the URL can watch the playback once it's done processing. But if you go back into the live events, at some point here soon, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna refresh this, the event will stop showing up pretty much immediately. So now you're able to find this video under the video manager and it needs to process. And since this was a really short video, it might actually process here in a heartbeat for us. Um, but it needs to kind of like, it's like rendering. So on a two hour video, it usually takes 30 to 45 minutes for it to be able to be finished processing. You can see right here that it says that it's processing. And what you're able to do is on this drop down, you will get a download MP4 link. And that's how when it's and it only shows up when it's done processing, you're able to download the video you broadcast live. And then I go rehost it into Vimeo into my Vimeo Pro account where I have a private Vimeo Pro account. And then I embed that Vimeo into my forums, I turn off the ability to embed into other sites, I turn off the ability for people to share or watch that video video outside of my forums. And that's how I ultimately protect my member based content. Um, I was kind of hoping to show you the download MP4, but literally it's drop down, download MP4, it, it shows up after it's finished processing. It doesn't take too long for things to process. But that's it. That is really the 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 ups and downs and inside out of YouTube live broadcasting. I pretty much always use the event. I always run it directly through their Google Hangouts. I always run it in Chrome when I'm only doing one camera at a time, which is pretty much what I'm always doing. It's worked incredibly well. Um, I had one internet outage issue during a live broadcast because we had a big storm. We had like 30, 45 mile an hour winds. And it turns out a tree took out like a, an internet line somewhere here in town. So it just died on me once, but I would say that out of the 30 to 40 different live streams that I've done, this approach using all of the native YouTube tools has been absolutely bulletproof. And I really do love that, you know, as a content creator here on YouTube, uh, with 400 and some odd videos, I really like staying in the YouTube family for my members content. I think that the YouTube video URL is easier for your average member from your average membership to go obtain your kind of gated or your members only content. And I didn't have to go learn another system. I didn't have to go learn Zoom. I don't have to pay for another system. This is all 100% free built right into YouTube. So it gives me the ability to one, grow my audience through YouTube live videos that go out to my audience and two, deliver my paid membership deliverables, right? For people who are actually paying me every month to get my opinion on what they're doing and to learn from me, I can create those unique live experiences for them and protect them so the rest of the, the YouTube world and the rest of my subscribers aren't privy to those live streams and then once it's done i just pull it down i rehost it on vimeo and we're good to go there and it lives forever in my forums it's uh infinitely play backable for other people and it can't really be found by people who aren't paying and that has been my solution to membership deliverables with youtube live and that is how i run my youtube lives i hope you've found this video to be helpful give me a thumbs up if you have if you have any questions about youtube live youtube marketing whatever get at me below in the comments i'm happy to chat with you there and uh, if you have not subscribed subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. I got another video coming out for you in a couple of days and then another video coming out a couple days after that. I do these videos about three times a week. So get on the subscribe train. If you've already subscribed, hit the bell to get notified when the new videos come out. And I look forward to helping you grow your business, to helping you grow your audience in the future with these videos. Thank you again very much for your time and I'll connect with you on the next video. Until then, be well.